Well, economic experts say some of the higher prices we're seeing now are likely to continue rising, at least for the next several months. And for some items, those prices are likely here to stay. Fox 59's Kristen Eskow shows us what you need to know when planning some of your purchases. Experts say supply chain slowdowns and rising consumer demand are pushing prices up. They're finally uh, engaging in these transactions that they've been putting off for the past year due to the pandemic. Experts say the problems at the ports could continue quite a while. So inflation rates will likely remain high at least until the middle of next year. That means many prices will keep increasing. We're going to have some goods that, that really go up quite a bit over the next six months. Kyle Anderson of the IU Kelly School of Business says although some rising costs like gas and energy prices should eventually come back down, other higher prices we're seeing now are likely here to stay. It really varies sector by sector and good by good. So if they're really high now, there's a good chance they'll, they'll come back down. Other things will just stabilize and, and where they are a year from now is about where they are right now. Experts say if you want to try to avoid some of the rising prices, it may be best to make purchases now that you'll know you'll need to make in the next few months. You may have two, three, four months, quarters, maybe even a year or more of inflation. So you may, may want to make that purchase now. Matthew Will of the University of Indianapolis says if you go that route, you'll have to be prepared to deal with delays. Despite the rising prices, Will feels optimistic about the future of Indiana's economy. We've had very low unemployment rates here in the state, so there's plentiful of, uh, jobs. We're actually considering, you know, getting a, a refund from the government on our taxes. So there's a lot of good things happening in Indiana. In Indianapolis, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. Just this morning, the U.S. Labor Department reported that worker wages and salaries rose more in the last quarter than any financial quarter since the early 2000s, with pay increasing by one and a half percent as employers try to lure Americans back to the workforce. That wage increase is staying just barely ahead of inflation, though, at this point.